In my 10 years of experience in cybersecurity and the fact that I've helped a lot of people get into cybersecurity, there are so many things that I've learned and that I've also experienced. And today I'll be teaching you how to learn cybersecurity in 90 days without these five common obstacles. And I'll also show you my strategy. Hello beautiful people, my name is Tolulokwe Michael, I'm a cybersecurity professional, I've been a cybersecurity expert for close to 10 years now and I've helped a lot of people transition into cybersecurity and it is my plan today to show you how to learn cybersecurity in 90 days without these 5 common obstacles that people go through. I know we talk a lot about cybersecurity careers and how you can navigate your way to finding your dream multiple six-figure jobs but today we're taking it several notches higher all right are you ready okay cool let's go now if you've been following this channel for a while you are probably aware that i run a cyber security training program where we help people gain relevant skills and position themselves for the cyber security job market in 90 days today's topic is one i believe will help you in various ways trust me i'll be sharing with you how I help my students start their cyber security careers in 90 days without five common obstacles that beginners always face. I will also be sharing my strategy for tackling these obstacles and how you can use them too. Fact is, it has worked for over 100 students who have passed through my mentorship, then it will work for you. On that note, let's start with obstacle number one which is lack of a clear learning path. You see, cybersecurity is a vast field where you will be dealing with very dynamic challenges. A clear learning pathway helps you take into account all the options available to you and what you need to learn. From being a security specialist to incident responder or even an analyst, different roles may have very learning paths that share few similarities, okay? According to a cybersecurity workforce study, 68% of professionals emphasize the need for a structured learning path. 68%. Ultimately, a clear learning path shows you your destination and how to get there. You see, in my program, what we do for our students is we start with the fundamentals that is a clear structured curriculum that covers foundational topics specific to GROC which is what we train people in. We follow a step-by-step -step processes that are designed to engage our students and we also ensure that the students are committed to the process. See, the truth is, without the student commitment, none of this works, okay? Another important process we put in place for the purpose of a clear learning path is that students know exactly what they will be doing each day of the program. This helps us cover all essential areas with our students systematically in a way that they can also what anticipate it's much simpler to accomplish when you join a program like ours but these are things you can do on your own with a little research now let's move to obstacle number two number two is information overload i often refer to this as trying to drink from a fire hose you know what that means? Trying to learn everything in cybersecurity invariably leads to information overload and defeats the purpose of learning entirely. Studies have even shown that cybersecurity field is rapidly expanding, leading to information overload for beginners. And the only way to avoid this is to use the core concept first approach. Okay, you have that core concept first. That's the approach that can help you. Like what is core concept first? The first thing you have to understand and to do is to learn the core concept of any study or of any subject that you want to go into. After learning the core concept, then you can build on that and expand on your knowledge. I also simplify the learning process by breaking down complex topics into manageable lessons, making it easier to absorb information. This is very key to the training program because we have people with no IT experience or degree wanting to start a career in cybersecurity. As a matter of fact, that is the reason why we established the program. So lessons have to be simple enough for everyone to learn. Now, let's go to obstacle number three, 
But before I go to obstacle number three, remember, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so. Thank you. Now, obstacle number three is lack of hands-on experience. You see, this particular one is an obstacle that even those who have spent a few years in entry-level roles have to deal with sometimes, especially those looking to pivot into another career path. The solution is you have to first recognize that any experience at all, even if it is self-taught, is useful for your journey. Anyone at all is useful. When I was starting out, I had a lab set up at my home where I would spend hours practicing and participating in events like capture the flag, hack the box, and all that. I was doing everything to make sure that I get hands-on experience. So if you're here to secure a role where you can gain experience, spend this time engaging in labs, simulation, and real world scenarios to build your practical skills. Trust me, you cannot avoid it. And for those who join our program, getting them job ready in 90 days is the goal. So we dedicate a lot of time to tackling challenges and practical activities employers are looking for. But if you're doing this on your own, you can simply search for free cybersecurity trainings or simulator tools online, and then you can use that to build up yourself. Okay. At this point, I think it is necessary and make it clear that these strategies are not a shortcut means to getting the job because trust me, it's a lot of work. It's a lot. However, what these strategies do is help you avoid wasting time on things you do not need and pay more attention to what is guaranteed to work. There are few things that are guaranteed to work if you do them. So you don't focus on the things that you don't need. You focus only on the things that you need and that have been tested and proven guaranteed to work. Okay. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, what is obstacle number four? It is no guidance or mentorship. Before you say, but Tolu, I thought you said I can, I can do this on my own. Okay, let me briefly explain this. The strategies I have outlined so far is the process I use to help my students avoid the obstacles. Sharing them with you makes it easier for you to overcome those same obstacles, even without a guide. But since having no guidance or mentorship might be an obstacle in itself, you can either fix that by join a program like us or use resources that are free or paid and you can find them easily you know online or go on platform like this one or the ones that we have i hope that clears this up for you a bit i hope that's clear right cool now to fix this particular obstacle maybe you are looking to get a mentor i have a video where i discussed three things a true cyber security career coach or mentor should be able to do for you the link to that will be added to the description below. Now, to further buttress why you need a mentor, a survey by CompTIA found that mentorship significantly boosts learning outcomes and career success. I must be honest with you, typically, it will be difficult to gain enough skill to start cybersecurity career in 90 days. But because I am there to guide my students, it's almost like a walk in the park for them. Okay, the long and short of it is that seeking mentorship and guidance will make the process easier on you and help you achieve results faster. Trust me on that. Now that we've come this far, what could obstacle number five be? Well, it is none other than inadequate certification guidance. You got that? Inadequate certification guidance. I have lost count of how many times I have come across students aiming for certifications that have no relevance to what their chosen career path. Not at all, no relevance at all. Yes, I am aware that getting certified is a big deal for cyber security professionals, but not all certifications are for you. Your goal should be to identify the right certifications that align with your career goals and ensure that they are industry recognized. Okay, trust me, there are some certifications that you'll get them. You've just got them for getting them sake. They will never be useful for you. Because if it is not industry recognized, 
it definitely won't carry the same weight as the one that is recognized. As a matter of fact, some certifications do not even worth the paper that it is written on. Okay, and I would like to debunk a myth too that uh, you might have heard otherwise. Okay, but it is possible to get a job without a certification. Let me repeat that for those at the back. It is possible, okay, to get a job without cybersecurity certification. In that case, you will need to prove to your prospective employer that you can get the job done. And that's why I said you can start working on yourself by engaging in practicals and simulations. Just remember, you can start small, but don't remain small, okay? 85% of IT professionals say that certifications boost their careers. And that's the key word, boost, okay? I can assure you, you want that career boost too, because in cybersecurity, the higher you go, the cooler your earning becomes. So get informed before getting that certification. That's the bottom line. Make sure you get information before getting the certification. In my training, we also guide our students to get certified if that's what they want. So it's a complete package alongside interview preparation and a host of other things that we do. I hope by paying attention to some of the strategies that I have shared with you here, you will find it a lot more easier overcoming these obstacles. If on the other hand, you believe that getting guidance is easier, my program could be perfect fit for you, trust me. And that's all I have for you today. I will see you on the next one, guys. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and share this video. And I will see you again on the next one. Bye for now.